Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor for those of you who have never been here before and in today's video we are making a base game tiny home. I believe it ends up in the, the tiny living thing being a tiny home because it goes like micro home, tiny home, no, yeah, micro home, tiny home, small home. So it ends up in that middle range. It is for a single sim, but it could be a couple. And I made the sim for this as well. And both of them are currently up on the gallery. My gallery ID is listed in the description down below. But I wanted this to be like the first home that like a successful programmer, which is not like super successful, but like a decently successful programmer bought like, you know, first job out of college. So she bought a tiny home. She seems like they kind of hipstery type that would do that and I just really liked that. So the sim is entirely base game as well as the house is entirely base game. So if you only have the base game or you only have a few packs you don't have to worry about that. You can definitely download this and add it to your game. It fits really well actually perfectly obviously on this lot here in Willow Creek which is also the base game world. Um, this is one of the lots that might be in a save file that I might be working on very 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 slowly considering this is only the second lot and there's four billion in the game. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while but I do add quite a bit of landscaping to like make it fit perfectly in this size lot and I do think that it ends up being pretty cute. We go with like green and some stone and I really like it. It has like a little office that's kind of also her living room and then a kitchen area. It's pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty cute. But I'm not gonna talk that much about the actual house. I'm watching a little, a, a little, a little little Simsy videos. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of little Simsy speed builds, especially like old ones, and I kind of just use them as like a way to disconnect and like turn my brain off and just listen to someone talk about their life and I kind of like that. So I just wanted to like talk to you guys about what's going on in my life. So a few months ago I decided that I was going to move. Um, right now I live in a place called Windsor in Canada and it's like a tiny, it's not a tiniest town, what am I even saying? It's like a smaller city, like we have around 200,000 people that live here but it feels like a small town and I don't know. I'm sh I've just never really liked being here, but I've been in Windsor since I was like seven years old and it's just not where I wanna be. So a few months ago, I decided that I want to move to Toronto, Toronto, Ontario. Um, and yesterday we actually went and viewed two different places that I might be renting, which is very exciting. Uh, I put in the application this morning for one of them. So that's terrifying, um, but I would end up having like my, cause right now my recording area, my little office is uh, in my bedroom. And that's kind of annoying because you know, you gotta separate, have a little bit of work-life balance, but I would actually have like a little office, which would be really cool. And I would like have a cute background and decorate it and not just green screen everything like I do now. And I think that would be really fun. And I'm just really excited about it. But I saw this place and it's a two bedroom plus a den and the den would be my office. And if I moved in there, I would be very, very excited. <laughs> so I'm just like patiently waiting to hear back. I send in all of my documents, everything. It's, man, being an adult is hard. Like any of you that are, you know, under like age 20, don't grow up, <laughs> just stop. Like Peter Pan, become a child forever because oh my goodness, there's just so many like things I have to deal with. Like, ah, uh, but yeah. So if I end up not posting a ton in like mid to late September, it might be because I'm moving and that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, but so cool. And oh, just thinking about it just makes me so excited. So I'm just, I'm just cautiously optimistic, but you can see here on the build, we're talking about my life and about the build a little bit. I'm definitely adding a lot of terrain tools because, or terrain paint is what the word I'm looking for, because if you add extra tiles, then this house would no longer be a tiny home. So I didn't want to waste any of the tiles on like actually making a little deck and like raising the foundation or any of that. So I went exactly for the amount of tiles for this smaller home. I really do love the way that it turned out. I think it's a very cute small home for a base game. Like world, I just, I really like how it vibes here. It's also beside a house that I posted, I believe last week, like a small base game family home. Cause obviously all the ones I'm gonna put in Willow Creek will be just base game. So that is a little family home. That's like right kind of next door, like, you know, right there. And I really liked that one. You guys seem to like that one as well. I'm curious to see if like base game build videos do better just because more people are able to download them because more people have the base game. I don't know, but I went with a purple accent wall in this room. I believe I ended up changing the bed because I was just like, this doesn't feel like her, but I don't remember if I'm being honest. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay. I actually built this last week. I've been so stressed. I tried to take Sunday off by like prepping and like 
pre-recording and having a bunch of stuff done. And then I found out on Sunday that on Monday I was going to have to drive to Toronto, which is four hours away, <laughs> and then go see some places early Tuesday morning. And it was just, it was a lot. So then I didn't post yesterday, which was like the first time in a while that I haven't posted. <sighs> it's craziness. Anyway, I just hit 18,000 subscribers on this channel. So like, thank you guys so much. That's crazy. I just, like I started this channel, technically the first video went up a year ago. But then I think I posted like maybe three. And then I didn't post again until like November when Discover University came out. And then I've gotten 18,000 subscribers since November. That's wild. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for like supporting everything that I do on this channel and on the website. You guys are just the best. And I love seeing like some names in the comments that comment all the time. Like, there's a couple that I'm like, oh, they definitely have notifications on because they're here in the first hour no matter what. And I just, I really appreciate it. And I'm just, I'm... For those of you that don't know, I'm a Cancer. I mention it in almost every video, but I'm a very emotional person and like all of this kind of stuff, just having people support you no matter what just feels, it feels like a lot and it's, it makes me cry a lot. <laughs> I know that my boyfriend really hates how much I cry because I'm just like always so emotional. Like anytime I hit a milestone like that, I just cry and I'm like, okay, but like I just hit 15k like a few weeks ago. Like that doesn't feel real. I don't know. I thought that like maybe in a year I would be at like five and now I'm at 18 and we're almost at 20 and then we're gonna, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> apparently you guys like me for some reason. Can you like let me know why? Because I don't understand it. Maybe it's all about Ming. This is Ming, by the way. I don't know if I've ever actually like introduced you guys to Ming. <laughs> I don't know if you, like, I didn't name her Ming. Ming is the name that she's, she's one of the Beanie Boos, like the TY Beanie Boos that replaced Beanie Babies. And her name is Ming. That's what was in her little heart thing. She's my best friend. Look at her. She's literally like the cutest thing ever. She is my sidekick and she likes to be in these videos because she wants to be famous. So make her famous. <laughs> she likes to make funny faces. Like look at how funny she looks. She's like a little parrot on my shoulder. Anyway, we're building a house here. So I decided to raise the TV and then add a little cork board because I figured that she would have like a bunch of interesting ideas because she's a programmer or a video gamer or that kind of vibe. I added a ton of posters and things that I don't normally put in houses unless it was like a teenager's bedroom in this place because I figured that she would be like 22, 23 maybe and just have like a bunch of inexpensive pictures to hang on the walls. I really, really like I would love to live in this place. Like I think it's super cute. Also, let me know if you guys want me to like if I do get this apartment. I'm not going to like build the apartment if I don't get it, but I will definitely like build the floor plan and like decorate it for you guys. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Here's some screenshots of the build. I know that some people keep asking me to add those at the end just so you can get a better vibe. So here you go. I really hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are in the entire world, which is crazy because there's people from all over the world that watch this and I will see you guys next time. Oh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Those are things I should have said before, but I am scatterbrained. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.